Happy Friday, everyone. Joyeux vendredi. I hope you guys are doing great. And from now, I'll wish you an amazing weekend. We made it. Bonjour, bonjour. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I'm DMC. I'm an artist based in Atlanta. I do anime, realism, and illustration. If you'd like to check some of my artwork, I'm going to put down below the link of my social media and my web store. For my previous video, I want to apologize and fix what I said, which I was called out for is not Zeus, okay? It's Divine Arsenal, AA Zeus Sky Thunder. Because this card is so amazing, so powerful that you have to say his entire his entire title in which he's earned it actually. So from now on, I'll be saying everything how his title is. This card is completely amazing. My respects and he is He's, for me, he's like a Gundam. This guy, I think I'm gonna do artwork for that guy. I mean, I have to do an artwork. What if I do a mat? Maybe. But today I'll be doing a drawing. I'm gonna show the process behind, just like I've done in the other previous video. And this is a commission I did for this amazing channel. It's Royce Ryder. If I said it wrong, I apologize. I'm gonna put the link down below of his channel. If you like to check some of his stuff, some of his vlog, I'm gonna put everything down below. And while I'll be drawing this amazing at them design art of Yu-Gi-Oh, I'll be talking about why I love Yu-Gi-Oh so much. Let's get into it. So I started watching Yu-Gi-Oh when I was in France and it was around the 2000s, 2001, 2002. I think it was 2001 because I remember that I was watching Captain Tsubasa. It's a, um, in France, it's called Dome Olivier, which is about soccer. And if you watch the OG back in the days old anime, just like Dragon Ball Z, Sanseya, So if you have watched these guys, you already know that what I'm talking about, Captain Tsubasa. So the time that Yu-Gi-Oh came out, I was very interested because it was something completely different from what I was watching and it, it got it caught a lot of my attention. And then I started watching completely the whole entire anime um, when I moved from France to here to United States. So. Uh, the part I remember because it, when you switch countries sometimes the animation or the series doesn't follow up because I think in France it was released later than United States. United States I think was one of the first before Japan. I mean Japan was the first one and then it was United States but um, uh, when I remember when I got here I was a bit confused because seeing Yami Yugi being wearing the Celtic warrior um soldier outfit and i was like what was going on so i had to rewatch the the back in english which it helped me a lot to learn english so because when i got here to united states the only language i was speaking was french and then i was very interested to see the voice of yami yugi which now we know is at them well i that was one of my crushes we can say when i was younger and now it's it's like one of my favorite characters still one of my favorite characters is kaiba yami yugi or at them that's still my favorite character as well it's just that i think kaiba carries nice the whole show so with the jokes and the whole thing but um i started loving Yu-Gi-Oh because of the art the amazing designs the card have the whole animation and also the storyline i really like the first Yu-Gi-Oh because of the storyline so i find it very interesting how the they changed the monsters from like dragons to for example the harpy ladies from mai and the like the angels from tia or Thea, how we say in french Thea. <laughs> and um i think it was very amazing to see each character having their own kind of deck so i was really into it i was like oh my god this is so awesome at the same time, I was watching Pokemon. I loved the concept of the Dark Magician girl and the Dark Magician. And I really love how they made the colors to still be like kind of Dark Magician, you know? And I really appreciate the art with the dragons and the different kind of style of art they had. 
and I'm pretty sure there were different kind of artists going on. I, I had to look back and look at the internet. You know, Google is your best, best friend. And so I was looking back and see, and yes, you can see that there were different kind of artists in certain timeline. And I pretty much love the first style, how they did it. And then kind of when, you know, spoilers alert, uh, at the end of Yu-Gi-Oh, the, the first, the monster duels, there is the one with Atem and he's with the gods, cards and all that fighting against um, Bakura's dark side. So I I was not really into the, how Yami was looking a little, but I really loved the one with the movie that came out when uh, Kaiba goes to the past at the end of the movie and he meets up against at them. That was amazing. I think that's it, it shows you a lot of different perspective to learn from this anime besides the amazing kind of dual game that came out of this anime. So it, it was, it's amazing to see that you learn that sometimes you're like your competition makes the best out of you you can say that and i appreciate that from there you can create friends just like when you go to a duel you go gonna go duel people you meet up with new people you make friends and and is actually how it happened in the anime so that was one of the things i really enjoy about Yu Gi Oh. and besides i gotta be honest i don't like much and sorry you guys are gonna probably be mad uh gx uh that was not my type of style i know they had their heroes and all that kind of stuff and it was cool but i really didn't get into it as much i was not really interested into it i think for me whenever somebody say oh Yu Gi Oh, i'm like always thinking about the first monster duel and the whole shadow realm and the whole merrick uh the god cards and the whole the soul of Oricalchus, i think is how you say it <laughs> so it's this whole thing about Yu-Gi-Oh. that's the only part i remember i mean the the whole only part that somebody's gonna mention me about Yu-Gi-Oh will be that part i feel like the other one they're just boosting the market and it's fine that's how everything happened just like dragon ball z and we're not gonna get into it <laughs> So when I start playing Yu-Gi-Oh was whenever the card came out, they, they did this, um, as I already spoke on my previous video, they had the, the set, the Yu-Gi-Oh and the Yugi and the Kaiba, you know, started deck. And then from there you start building your deck. I chose the one from Yugi. And of course, my sister took Kaiba, and we had the the red eyes, I mean the blue eyes, and then I had the dark magician. And from there, we we'll start buying our own stuff, and we try to play as the format where like Yugi on the Yu-Gi-Oh whole series had that they start doing. Well, you have your own favorite cards. You place traps. You place mat the spell cards, and it's fine. The cards didn't have as much effect special effects and then they start bringing the like the new cards after that that they will have the special effects one of the reasons why i stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh was because i decided to focus myself into art fully completely like mentally getting into art so i stopped even playing uh, video games i used to play a lot of devil may cry i play halo all these games but then i decided to just get myself into very into much into art so um after i went to the tournament and watched all these duelists play Yu-Gi-Oh, i just got fired up and up like no i just need to learn the new format and uh, learn all these cards all these decks because i want to go back into Yu-Gi-Oh. and it, honestly my experience has been amazing i feel very blessed of having um amazing uh, friends people that i met in the tournament and they're very helpful they're very patient with me because right after when when, when i'm gonna start i'm like hey just letting you know if you, there is anything that you need to let me know that i made a miss move just let me know and i'll be fine or call the judge is fine so i um i think that has been amazing and honestly Yu-Gi-Oh will always be in my heart I especially because it carries a very important part of my life that was the transaction from the transaction the tr like the 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 time that I moved from France 
to United States and it was that anime that was right in the middle and I remember like right like if it was yesterday when I was watching the commercials in France um, and it was in the channel I still remember M6 which is M6 and they were showing the new anime the King of Duel, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and I started watching it and it was amazing and after that coming here to the United States and still watch the same anime but with different kind of voices different kind of characters like it again there was a gap of like um episodes but it, it really got me into my heart Yu-Gi-Oh! it will always be in my heart that's why I love Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot and yeah, so that's a little story, a little background story of why I love Yu-Gi-Oh! Hopefully I'm gonna make a video of what I have on my deck, what deck I'm running. Some of you already know I run the Dark Magician, Sledge Dragoon, and Numeron, but I don't mind making a video or going to live stream to show you guys what I have on my deck. I have it right here. It's purple. <laughs> and um as well just if you guys have any questions about anything artwork suggestion just like i did for the uh red eyes you can put a comment down below and i can try to do some of that artwork i've been working on some murals so hopefully you guys are gonna see something different not a Yu-Gi-Oh artwork and i'll be uploading that video as well i'm still working on it very soon i'll be happy i'll be having some mats and some more stuff on my um my website on my store so if you would like to check some of that just a friendly reminder you can put down below you can check down below my link and my website and my social media as well thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoy it again anything just make sure to comment and merci beaucoup au revoir à la prochaine i'll see you in the next one